We're here today to perform a demonstration on similar designed tanks of different types of materials. We're going to be testing performance level loads on polyethylene tanks and precast concrete tanks. We've already taken the lids out of the tanks and replaced them with steel plates. And now we're going to take them to vacuum pressures to simulate earth loads and live loads on all parts of the tank. We're going to start here with the precast concrete tanks and then we'll move on later to the polyethylene tanks. Okay, tank one, 1500 gallon liquid capacity. We're going to bring it up to one inch of mercury. We're going to test it to make sure it's leak proof before we start bringing in the vacuum and bring it up for structural soundness. As always, Try to wear your hard hat and safety glasses before performing any of these vacuum tests. Start it up. You can see the way the steel plate is compressing down the sealant, causing the vacuum to form. Also, you'll check your strings, you'll see no sign of any kind of sagging. Uh, there's no separation from the wall. We'll take it on up to four inches. All right, we're at four inches of mercury right now, which is the ASTM 1227 standard for septic tanks. This tank is at five inches of mercury, I'll let off some. Uh, which is 20% more than the ASTM standard. Just like this first tank had fiber reinforced concrete and rebar with no welded wire fabric, the second tank that we test will be a similar dimension mid seam tank with welded wire fabric as the reinforcement. So let's start the test. We're at two inches of mercury and we're holding it so we can simulate uh, water tightness. We're going to hold this for a few minutes and then we're going to take it on up to four inches. Okay, we're at four inches of mercury, the ASTM standard uh, for the structural soundness. No deflections being noted in the strings. Uh, no audible hissing. We haven't lost vacuum. We're going to bring this thing up to five uh, just to simulate the performance test and the safety factors. Okay, we're at five inches of mercury. The ASTM spec plus the safety factor. This is five inches of mercury, people. Wear your safety equipment. Okay, the next tank we're going to do is this one. A 1500 gallon capacity top seam tank. So let's transfer the testing equipment over and get this thing started. Okay, this is the third test of the precast tanks. This is a top seam tank, 1500 gallons. We're at two inches of mercury and we're holding it for a few minutes just to test it for leakage, and then we're going to take it on up to four. Okay, we're at four inches of mercury, the ASTM 1227 for the standard. Uh, you can see the sealant here. As the pressure comes in and squeezes this tank together, the sealant's starting to squeeze out here. It's still giving a good seal, a good hold. We're going to bring this thing up to five inches, the four inch plus the safety factor. Okay, we're at five inches of mercury. This is a good test for a tank. Gives a good replication of the loads that's gonna be applied to this tank. Live loads, side loads. It's not leaking. 
We're not seeing any indication that it would be creep at all in the long term. Now, gentlemen, one of the reasons we're using the steel plates is because in preliminary tests, we weren't able to get any of the risers and any of the lids provided by the manufacturer to initially start the vacuum process. So to initiate that, we removed the lids and outfitted each one of them with steel plate and attached them to the tank with a nipple to the hose. But it was done just to initiate the test so we could test the structure since we couldn't do so with the risers in place. We're gonna take some measurements while the tanks are at rest and then we're gonna start putting vacuum pressures on them. Two and a quarter on number two. Okay. Two and three eighths on number This is the second tank, it's at rest, no vacuum pressure, string taunt, it's three and one eighth. And for the use of this, we've used an independent stand on our sidewall string, so we can measure deflection on this. This is a four and a quarter, right here inch and a quarter. Talking about 13 inches. Okay, we're going to do number three for a point of reference at the top. We have one half inch under the string. We're still using the same setup here on the side walls to measure the side deflection. fourth test, the distance between the string two and one quarter inches. Let's start our test up to one inch. Today's test had three precast tanks, 
four polyethylene tanks. We were trying to bring them all up to the same limits for performance. The precast concrete tanks, as you saw, exhibited the ability to hold a vacuum, demonstrating that they were watertight, leak tight, and they were also able to be brought to five inches of mercury to demonstrate structural soundness in the field. The polyethylene tanks, for one reason or another, failed to be able to hold the vacuum to bring them up to the five inches of mercury. That test will have to be performed later under similar situations. What we were demonstrating here today is similar situations but different materials of the tank. We urge all state, local, and federal model performance codes, no matter what the material, have the same limits. The earth that's backfilled around these tanks, the hydraulic uplift of the earth does not know what it's pushing up against. The limits have to be equal. Thank you.